Well, hello, fellow DoorDashers and DoorDash customers. Uh, sorry, no, leave it on the porch orders. No, leave it on my car orders. No, leave it on the table on the back deck orders. Um, no. DoorDash requires us to deliver to the person on the account. That means when we get there, we say, hi, DoorDash order, and you say, yes. And then we ask you, and the name on the account, sir? And you better come up with the right name. We have to do this because people have registered their credit cards on here, and there's a, there's a lot of fraud and scamming going on. And um, uh, that's the only way to protect ourselves uh, from getting chargebacks on credit cards and that by saying, I never got the food, uh, or I don't see it on the porch. Um, and uh, that's not fair to the driver. Okay, if you want your food, come out and get it. Answer your door or meet us right in front and come get it. Okay, and that includes for secured gates. Uh, you need to tell us it, the name of the complex. You text it to the, to the driver on the app. It says contact and you text them and, and you say, oh, by the way, I'm in Circle Scam Complex and it is a gated community. And, um, you know, I'll be, I'll meet you at the gate. Uh, it's, and the, here's the biggest problem is if there's a gated community, the security guards do not want to let you in. I went to one last night that had a huge sign on the gate that says no commercial vehicles allowed. That means, uh, you can't deliver in there. So, um, you know, they have those secured for a reason. Those people pay big money to be there for a reason. You can't just keep giving out gate codes so everybody can go in because they can go in any other time with your gate code if they wanted to. Not a good idea. And it's in the leases too with these places. Anyway, um, so, uh, you know, if you want your food and, and you were able to order it on the app, it tells you how long it'll be. And the dasher is supposed to send you text messages to update you that they're waiting on your food. That uh, the food is ready. That they're so many miles away. And I count down to my customer. I'll say five miles. Um, and I'll tell them white Mercedes and Christmas lights. And then I count it down. Four miles. Three miles. But that's because I bring a co-driver. I let them handle the texting back and forth while I'm driving. Um, I don't do phone calls with customers. Um, I've only done two ever um, because uh, I can't drive and talk on the phone. You know, it just does, it doesn't work. I'm not risking my life or anybody else's on the road um, doing that. I have to pull off the road and that kills my time for the delivery. Um, you know, when it gets too long to, to wait for the food or too long to get it delivered to the person and then, you know, they don't want to answer the door or we can't get it delivered. I mean, we get paid for it, uh, but the problem is um, it's only paid for the delivery, not by the hour or the minute, okay? So our time is very valuable, just like yours. Um, if you want that food, you need to come out and get it, you know? If you're in a big secured building that's huge and you're on the fourth floor or whatever, you need to come downstairs to the entry of the building, the front door, out front, and in the parking lot, at the security gate, whatever it is. It's because we don't know every apartment building, every complex. We don't know what apartment is where, what hallway to go down. We don't know which building it is when there's a series of buildings around. We don't know how to find building number 20 and 98 buildings on a property. Please make it simple for us. Um, but I'm going to tell you right now, we have to have communication with a live person. There's no leave it on the porch, leave it on my car, go around the back, leave it on the table on the back deck. Um, no. Uh, you know, there's there's too much liability there. Um, you know, and uh, 
I don't want it. I don't want the police involved. I don't want the neighbors calling and saying there's somebody creeping around somebody's house in the back um, and reporting my tag. And all I'm doing is trying to deliver food. Um, I don't want dogs to get in your food, fire ants to get in your food by setting it on the ground by your door. Um, I don't want cats to get into it. Um, uh, I don't want the customer calling saying, oh, they didn't leave it. Um, I do know that some other delivery services, they tell them, okay, put it at the floor at the door and photograph it. Well, no. Nope. We have to deliver to a live person. So if you could order it on the app. And you can see it on the tracker, and your your delivery person is sending you messages. You're big enough to accept your food. If you ordered it, don't you want to eat? You know, because we we have to give it away to the homeless if it's undeliverable, okay? And if there's no homeless out, then we get it and we give it away to whoever, you know. Um, and I, I'm a picky eater, so there's a lot of stuff I won't eat. I don't do sushi. I don't do fried food. There's a lot of stuff I just don't eat. So it's a sad waste if it has to be thrown away in the trash. Um, but uh, you are liable for the bill when you are unavailable for that order to be delivered. Okay? And you're, you're wasting the delivery person's time. They don't get paid by the hour on DoorDash. They merely get paid by the delivery and it has to be done in so much time. It affects the ratings. Um, it's horrible. So, when you get a customer that sends you an odd message, says, leave it on the porch, don't say anything, just go ahead, continue with your delivery, get to the, the property, you know, let them know, I am here, you know, do whatever is necessary to do, knock on the door, uh, you know, but just, if you think it's going to be a problematic order, as soon as you get to that property, set that timer on your app. And say customer not available. And that timer will count down 10 minutes. That's all you need. And as soon as that timer counts down to that 10 minutes, because you can go back and forth and check it, then you can continue it that customer is not available and it ends the order. And it blocks the customer from leaving you bad feedback on your ratings. They cannot do anything at all. Um, and they get charged for it. Yep. And uh, you may get a call from DoorDash going, what happened with that order? And it might be an hour or two hours later. And um, uh, the rule at DoorDash is if it's undeliverable, it goes to the homeless. So that's the deal. You still get paid. Um, you just have to have proof. Now, DoorDash can read your text messages. The DoorDash rep, they can read all of your text messages. So make sure... That you sending your text messages, you know, uh, um, you know, I'm waiting. I am here waiting. I'm in your driveway. And when they say, well, leave it on the doorstep. Say, I'm sorry, I have to deliver to a live person that's on this account. That's all you have to say. I don't care if they get mad, happy, glad, sad, whatever. Uh, you know, um, I'm dying in the floor. Uh, leave it on the porch. No. No can do. You just, you just, you don't get snotty with them. You just let it ride. You say, I'm waiting outside. You keep answering them. And then you tell them DoorDash is going to uh, uh, terminate this order uh, if I cannot deliver. And, uh, uh, you know, usually they'll come out, but some of them just, you know, think it's a big joke. Um, but why would you order food and not get it? Especially if it's expensive food. Why? Um, anyway, uh, just make sure you got the timer. Go back, check the timer. As soon as that sucker ends, hit that button to, so it ends everything. You're done. Party's over. That way you can accept more orders because in the meantime, your, your app is tied up so you can't take any more orders until that timer ends. But if the customer does come out, you know, and you can deliver. Go ahead and slide that delivered and then pick the unhappy face and mention the things that are problems. You know, uh, you know, bad parking. The merchant was slow because the food wasn't ready. Um, customer not available. Uh, customer, you know, refused to, you know, come to the door. Um, I can't get in. Uh, security gate code not furnished. 
whatever it takes do that and then you know hit the end so that you could get your app up so you could take more orders so that's what you do and um uh you know you don't have a choice they're not doordash is not going to bill you for the food they're not going to take your money away as long as you did it right and that's the way you do it you just be nice be straight to the point don't get in a fight with the customer i don't want to talk to them on the phone it's texting and as soon as the order's over it's supposed to disconnect all connection through the customer and you through the doordash app because it's masked phone numbers for safety reasons do not call a customer on a different phone number or any of that kind of stuff do not because they might be using somebody's account fraudulently so um don't ever do that you don't want to expose your phone number to a customer or scammer or anything else do not do it and don't tell them i can't just keep texting them on whatever numbers coming up on the app uh that you're supposed to message to do not text or call anything but that and they don't reply and it's undeliverable the free food to the homeless or you or if you want to give it away to the people at the 7-eleven and your next stop do that whatever um party's over so uh anyway i just wanted to help you out and give you some cool tips and hints and uh of course we love those tips you can't ask for tips on doordash you can't ask for a five star rating uh you can ask the customer please rate me on the app and um you can wear this we make these and we sell them if you need one let us know um uh you know if you do it right you can make some really great cash tips i make tips on the app and cash tips in person on one order because i'm good um and two if a customer ever says hey can i tip you you know after you've delivered to them and they say hey i don't have any cash can i tip you you know on the app well the problem is i would tell them no um because what happens is DoorDash has to, they have to get a hold of DoorDash and say, Hi, I want to tip now. And DoorDash has to re-enter the credit card number for the tip. And most of the time, the customers won't do it. They're too busy eating. So, um, just tell them, no, I'm sorry. Uh, you can't tip after the order. Um, and then that way they pay you cash if they wish to tip. But make sure you have change for a 20 have 10 ones, two fives. That way, if somebody does tip you and all they got is a 20 and they only want to tip you five or 10 bucks or whatever, you have change. That way, you don't lose that money. So, there it is. Hope you have a really great day and dash on. And the rule is I must give the order to a human being that speaks my language and is the person named on the e account. Period. End of story. That's it. I don't care what your story or excuse is. Um, why would you order food and not be there? DoorDash delivers the quickest out of all the delivery services, I think. Um, and and we take our time driving. We don't drive like Pizza Manny delivers like a freak. We drive safely, carefully. We don't talk and text on the phone. While driving, we pull off the road. We do it while we're at the restaurant waiting on the food. Um, that kind of thing. We're safe, good drivers. We carry our food in cold, cold bags and hot bags. We do it right. We make sure to get extra sauces, plates, whatever is needed. Um, we, we're doing the best job we can. Okay? All right. Everybody have a great day. Love to you. And sorry. No, leave it on the porch orders. Thank you. Because I want to see your smiling face. I deliver to humans. Love ya.